Hey everybody, Carl here, uh, about to go into the shooting test on the Lancer Tactical Battle X Gen 2 PDW. So, we're going to do some accuracy testing, we're going to do FPS, and we're then we're going to talk about some of the features of this gun. 347, 346, 348, four rounds. Yeah, pretty good performer right out of the box. Um, this does come with the quick change gearbox, so if you want to up or lower that FPS, you can do the quick change spring change. Rate of fire test with an 11-1 battery. Oh, wait, I should probably put in full. 19.3. Not terrible. All right. All right, for the accuracy testing, I'm going to fire three rounds of 0 .20 BB from 25 feet, 50 feet, 75 feet, and 100 feet at a chest-sized target. So, let's see how this does. 25 feet. That's 25 feet. 50 feet. Let me get my sight picture. Oh, low. Those are all low. Uh, we did not adjust the hop up at all, so we are just going straight out of the box with this. They're hitting right below it. Hundo Fido, cuz. So, this is designed for CQB, but you know, with the flashlight and some adjusting on the hop up, you could probably dial it in. Uh, we didn't take the time to do it because we believed in the absolute purity test of straight out of the box. Put a battery in it, throw some BBs in it, and shoot it. Um, that is also, target is just a chest size, so in airsoft, you hit him anywhere, it counts. You're gonna get your hits, in my opinion. So yeah, you're, it's up and down where it needs to be. It's not wibbling off to the left or the right. <laughs> so hey, yeah, uh, well, apparently I like to make it a little bit harder on myself for an accuracy test. I'm shooting at something the size of my face, ish, head, region. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at 25 meters, we're gonna fire three rounds, see where the accuracy is. And then from there, maybe we'll uh, do a full auto burst to check the accuracy on that as well. That sounded better. Here, here. So they went this way, it's here. here and here. Huh, well the sights aren't adjusted, I can tell you that much. Cause I was aiming here. <laughs> but that's an easy enough fix. Again, out of the box, nothing has been touched. So yeah, uh, I would suggest taking the time to adjust the sights. But then again, We set that down. The target size we are shooting at is that big compared to a man, human person target size. So it's airsoft, it counts. You just gotta hit something. <laughs> All right, shooting test results. Uh, FPS wise, shooting 346 to 348, not much variation like. 0.5 of an FPS between shots, took four shots. Uh, rate of fire, uh, full auto burst was at 19.1 rounds per second with an 11.1. Not the fastest, not the slowest. Does what it does. Uh, for range, this is built primarily for a CQB. So after that, like, I could see where it was hitting at 25 out to 100. It was hitting low to the point of aim. 
but that is just a matter of, you know, if you put sights on it, a tracer unit, adjust your hop up, whatever, so then you can fine tune the accuracy on the gun. The same with the accuracy test. I hit the target, but not exactly where I was aiming. But again, we took this gun straight out of this box, put a battery in it, put BBs in it, and tested it. Um, if you take the time to adjust it, you'll probably get fairly good performance. Also, we were shooting at targets much smaller than your average air softer. You would have hit an average air softer. You would have hit me. Um, the trigger response was really nice and crisp with the 11.1. .1. Um, durable polymer body, felt good in the hands. I would just say if this is something you do get, you're going to want to take the time to give it the extra care, put a sight on it, put a flashlight, a tracer, whatever you feel the need to do. And if you don't, well, CQB gun, use it for CQB. <laughs> so hey, yeah, uh, well, apparently I like to make it a little bit harder on myself for an accuracy test. I'm shooting at something the size of my face-ish. 